God's love for us is as expansive as the open arms of Christ on the cross. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by David Roper. I remember my father's face. It was hard to read. He was a kind man, but stoic and self-contained. As a child, I often searched his face, looking for a smile or other show of affection. Faces are us. A frown, a sullen look, a smile, and crinkly eyes reveal what we feel about others. Our faces are our tell. Asaph, the author of Psalm 80, was distraught and wanted to see the Lord's face. He looked north from his vantage point in Jerusalem and saw Judah's sister state, Israel, collapse under the weight of the Assyrian Empire. With her buffer state gone, Judah was vulnerable to invasion from all sides. Assyria from the north, Egypt from the south, and the Arab nations from the east. She was outnumbered and outmatched. Asaph gathered up his fears in a prayer, three times repeated, Make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. Or, in other words, let me see your smile. It's good to look away from our fears and search our Heavenly Father's face. The best way to see God's face is to look at the cross. The cross is his tell. So know this, when your father looks at you, he has a great big smile on his face. You are very safe. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is Psalm 80. Hear us, shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who sit enthroned between the cherubim, Shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Awaken your might. Come and save us. Restore us, O God. Make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. How long, Lord God Almighty, will your anger smolder against the prayers of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have made them drink tears by the bowlful. You have made us an object of derision to our neighbors, and our enemies mock us. Restore us, God Almighty. Make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. You transplanted a vine from Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground for it, and it took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shade, the mighty cedars with its branches. Its branches reached as far as the sea, its shoots as far as the river. Why have you broken down its walls so that all who pass by pick its grapes? Boars from the forest ravage it, and insects from the fields feed on it. Return to us, God Almighty. Look down from heaven and see. Watch over this vine, the root your right hand has planted, the sun you have raised up for yourself. Your vine is cut down. It is burned with fire. At your rebuke, your people perish. Let your hand rest on the man at your right hand, the son of man you have raised up for yourself. Then we will not turn away from you. Revive us, and we will call on your name. Restore us, Lord God Almighty. Make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. Today's scripture reading is Psalm 80. Dear Heavenly Father, as we go about our daily tasks today, please make your face shine on us. Help us to always be grateful for your grace and love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.